Um, hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install our Wanderer Electronic Tilt Adjuster in front of the TopTech OAG, including the TopTech OAG X and the TopTech OAG L. There's a little bit difference with the VW OAG. As you may know, if you have watched our previous video, if you want to install the ETA in front of the VW OAG, you only need to remove the 5mm tilter ring in front of the VW OAG and then directly attach the ETA in front of the OAG, right? But for TopTech OAG, things are a little bit different because due to the special structure of the TopTech OAG, you cannot directly remove this uh, adapter in front of the OAG. So what we need to do is to directly attach the ETA in front of the OAG. Okay, so now I will show you how to do it. First, you still need to remove the six screws that fix the adapter. And then, we don't want the adapter to be removed. We only need to take out the screws. Okay, we take out the six screws. Um, when doing this, you need to be careful because after removing the, uh, the six screws that fixing this adapter, the prism is free to move. Okay, so do not touch the prism. And then, uh, you still need our uh, light leak preventing gasket. You can find two in our package. Uh, one is typically for VW and the TopTech OAG, and the other one is for QHY OAG. So we take out the uh, take out this this gasket. Um, please note that there are M48 version, M54 version, and M68 version of TopTech OAG. Right? The adapter size you can you can select the adapter size. Only the M68 adapter needs this light preventing gasket. Okay, if your TopTech OAG is M54 version or the M48 version, you don't need this one. Okay, if your OAG, if your TopTech OAG is M68 version, you need this light leak preventing gasket between the OAG and the ETA. So carefully place the gasket in front of the OAG. Okay. And then attach the ETA onto the OAG. Okay, you need to be careful because it's a little bit tricky. Okay, then we take out the longer screws in the package which is prepared for the top tech OAGs. Take out the screws. Okay, we use the screws to fix the ETA onto the OAG. Okay, then it is attached to top tech OAG. It's a little bit different with VW OAG, but it's also very easy. And the same thing is for the TopTech OAG L, but you need to pay attention that you have to install this uh, modification part provided by TopTech, or you cannot install the ETA in front of the OAG L. For OAG X, there's no problem at all. And I still want to emphasize that this M54 female thread on the Wanderer ETA is only for telescope side devices connection. You cannot use this M54 female thread to connect to your camera side devices. If you want to connect to your camera side devices using threads, you can buy our M54 female thread adapter for Wanderer ETA. Okay? And, and one thing, again, I need to mention that uh, you can remove the silver ring. You can remove the silver ring if your telescope side adapter is very big. 
Okay, if, a tele if the outer diameter of the telescope side adapter is larger than 76 millimeters, you can just remove the silver ring. Okay? Just remove the screw and take out the silver ring. Okay, like this. If your telescope side adapter is not that big, I recommend you keep this one. Okay. Keep this silver ring. You may have a question at this point. If you simply put the ETA in front of the OEG, you will not be able to maintain the 65mm back focus, right? Now you have 16mm back focus. What should you do if you want to maintain the 55mm back focus? No worry, there is a way, but since I don't have a TopTech camera and the TopTech filter wheel, I will use the official website of TopTech to introduce the method. First, let's take a look at the ATR series cameras. Uh, for example, let's take the ATR 2600M camera as an example. You can find that by default you have the um, 17.5 mm back focus, right? Uh, you have the M42 female strat on your camera. Uh, however, you can remove this adapter and install the M42 male thread adapter. And in this case, your back focus will change to 12.5 mm. So you can uh, achieve the 55 mm back focus by uh, changing your camera back focus from 17.5 mm to 12.5 mm. But please pay attention that uh, after you change your camera adapter from the default M42 female thread adapter to the M42 male thread adapter, you will not be able to connect your camera to your filter wheel uh, by screws because you can see that there are six screw holes on the M42 female strat adapter, but there are no screw holes on this adapter. You can only use the uh, M42 male strat to connect to your filter wheel. If you are using a TopTech filter wheel, the TopTech filter wheel has the uh, M54 female strat on its camera side, right? So you will need a M42 female strat to M54 male straps for connecting your TopTech camera to your filter wheel. However, please note that the thickness of the 0mm extension M42 female thread to M54 male thread adapter required must be 4mm. But the thickness of the adapters on the market is basically 5mm. So we will provide this custom adapter to solve this problem soon. And next, Let's take a look at the SkyEye series camera. For example, the SkyEye 62AM camera. For SkyEye camera, the situation is, is easier. You can see that the, this is the connection solutions for SkyEye camera. You can see that if you don't use the ETA, you also need to remove the 5mm 5mm adapter in front of the camera uh, and put it between the OAG and the filter wheel. If you put the ETA in front of the OAG, you only need to remove this 5mm adapter so that the total back focus will be 65mm again. This is an easier situation compared with the ATR series cameras. 